Moving from state to state can be difficult on children and even a family, but how about country to country? That's exactly what Jose Perez did and not that long ago. He had to learn English, which took him about two years, and he had to learn American sports. He embraced the challenge and became a standout defensive end at Memorial High School. This young man certainly has a great story to tell. I was born in El Salvador. I came when I was 10 years old. I didn't know anything about football or basketball. All I knew was uh, soccer. I uh, got here my seventh grade year. They wanted me to play basketball and football. I never knew how to play, so I just got out there. And just for fun, they throw me the ball, I'd catch it, and I scored. But I never knew what I was really doing. Not knowing how to play American football was barely a hurdle for Jose Perez. Blessed with natural skills, he grabbed the attention of Memorial head football coach Kimmy Lewis years before suiting up for the Minutemen. Sent him day one at the middle school and just dominating those kids and uh, him understanding, you know, he had to learn his body a little bit more. Uh, but getting him to our program is, is like he wanted to learn, he wanted to be great. So I think us, by us knowing that uh, helped him out tremendously because when you got a kid that really want to be great at what they do, then it's easy to coach. So I think he understood that. So I think the transition was a little bit better for him. Jose became passionate about football following his sophomore season, and he just loves fighting through blockers and making tackles. Just the physicality that I can go out there and express my feelings and always have fun. And I like to make plays. And I like my name being called out there every day. Like on Friday nights, mm -hmm. I make a play. I like everybody knowing my name. I like for my family to feel proud of the kid out there playing. So that's what I like most about it. Family is Jose's driving force, plain and simple. He wants to do everything to make his parents proud and to ensure his dad's gamble of moving his family to America pays off. My dad moved here uh, when I was three, and then my mom uh, moved here when I was nine. So I lived with my grandma for a year or two. Okay. Then we came over here with my brother by ourselves, and we liked it here. It was a better opportunity over there. I mean, the education is better here, and it's safe for here to be. He said the foundation for me and my brother to get here, and uh, this is why me and my brother work hard to make him proud. Back in early April, Jose made his parents proud when he signed to attend Cisco College. With his mother, two sisters by his side, and father in the audience, Jose put pen to paper. At six foot five, 230 pounds, he's big enough to play Division I football, but was advised to first play Juco ball to increase his chances of playing for a D1 program in the future. I expect to go for uh, a year, mm -hmm. a whole year. Uh, I'm eligible, my grades are great, so I'm eligible to transfer after my first year. So I'm trying to go there, learn more, get better as a college player, experience the college level as a Juco, and further my education somewhere in a four year, hopefully in a year, transfer somewhere big. Going to junior college it provides that opportunity. I, I think that is good for him to start at that level and really just focus on you know football itself. And from there, he ha he'll have more opportunities if he do what he's supposed to do in the classroom and also on the football field. His thank you speech on signing day produced tears of joy from his mom and a loud applause from those in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Jose is a humble, hardworking young man with a huge passion to succeed. He grabbed the bull by the horns, all with the goal of making life easier for his parents, Norma and Ricardo. Coming from a different country, uh, I always wanted to be a standout student, knowing that um, my background is different from everybody. I grew up different. Uh, I didn't have a the opportunity that everyone else had here. So by me coming here, uh, I knew I had to take advantage of everything. And uh, I always see my parents struggling with money and everything for us. So I always wanted to make them proud so they didn't have to struggle to pay our college. So that's what pushed me into being a great student athlete on and off the field. So that's, that's what it strives me for, for my parents not to be for my education. Jose plans to study business, and one day he hopes to open his own restaurant. We certainly wish him and his family all the best going forward. 